After back-to-back -back defeats by Claremont in Europe, Scarlet's coach Simon Easterby made nine changes to his side for this game at Musgrave Park. The Welsh men beat Munster home and away last season and were looking for a similar return at the Cork venue this time. Munster had clocked up seven wins in a row in all competitions before this game. Rob Penny made 12 changes in all. Six minutes in, Munster had a chance to go ahead when the referee penalised Gareth Owen for throwing the ball away to prevent a quick throw in. But JJ Hanrahan's kick was never on target and in the windy conditions the ball went well wide as it remained scoreless. After 15 minutes, the scoreboard operator was finally called into action. Duncan Casey, making his competitive debut for the home side, was adjudged offside by Nigel Owens. And Alad Thomas, in for Rhys Priestland, kicked a fine penalty to give Scarlets an early three-point advantage. It took until the 22nd minute for the Munster men to get their first points of the game. Hanrahan with a second chance at the posts. This time the kick was good. The sides were level at three points apiece. The cold, wet and windy weather wasn't conducive to fast-flowing rugby and the crowd needed something to warm them up with a sparse three-all half-time score. There was something for the crowd to get excited about in the second half, but it was the away supporters who were on their feet. Christian Phillips made the initial break from deep inside his own half. Eventually, Thomas jinked his way through the Munster defensive line before drawing the tackler and offloading to John Barkley, who had a clear run under the posts for the first try of the night. The big Scottish international's second try of the campaign, but Thomas gets great kudos for his part in the move, and the fly half added the extra two points with the conversion to make it Scarlet's 10, Munster 3. At the other end, Munster were given the chance to narrow the deficit with a penalty from a kickable distance. Hanrahan obliged, and Munster were back to within four points on 47 minutes. The Kerry man reduced the margin to one point with another penalty from close range. That left it 9-10 with a quarter of the game remaining. The Welsh men were then reduced to 14 men seven minutes from time when Rob Evans saw yellow for taking the jumper out in the line-out. The question was, could Munster take advantage of their numerical supremacy and clinch a winning score? The home side's cause was helped once more when Scarlets were reduced to 13. Mike Poole yellow carded for that dangerous tip tackle on Barry O'Mahony. You're above the horizontal, you've got to take care of bringing him down. You're very lucky, it's a yellow card, nothing more. Back a pool of sorrow for the man from Cardiff and it gave Munster a real chance to snatch victory. Time was running out, but Munster now had two extra players, and right at the death, the extra men would come into play. As Munster pressed the Scarlets line, the ball was fed to Hanrahan, who produced a delicious crossfield kick, and sub Ronan O'Mahony was all alone to collect and dive over the line for the match-winning try. His first of the season, and what a time to get it. Great awareness from Hanrahan, a cool head, a precise kick, and O'Mahony could hardly miss. The TMO couldn't identify if the winger was offside from the TV pictures, and the try was awarded. Hanrahan also landed the conversion with the last kick of the match to put Gloss on the scoreline for Munster. 16-10, the final score. So Munster stay top of the league going into Christmas and face Connacht at home next time out. Scarlet settle for a losing bonus point, but they will rue those two late yellow cards as they prepare for a derby match against Ospreys on the 26th. Final score, Munster 16, Scarlet's 10.